Hello there, I heard you lip gloss lovers, after my recent videos on tinted lip oils and liquid lip balms, I'm back with another cousin of those categories, comfortable lip glosses, truly comfortable. No stickiness, no gloopy, gluey textures, not too thin, not too thick, just right. There's still a place for thicker glosses at times. In fact, I think I could work on a fourth episode ranking more traditional glosses I love and famous formulas in the industry if you'd be interested. But for now, if you're sick of stick and want something super smooth, you're in the right place. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace, part of my work with the website builder I use to make MatildaOnVideo.com. With a lot of lip action on my channel lately, I've put together a new blog post with some of the different categories I've shared so far. You can catch up on those lip oil and lip balm episodes, but here are some honourable mentions of crossover products that appeared in those previous videos but are so brilliant they needed to be here too. If I had to name a favourite gloss full stop from recent years, I think it'd be the Bobbi Brown Crushed oil infused glosses. So lovely and lightweight, beautifully balmy. I also think very highly of the Kosas wet lip oil glosses. They made my annual favorites list for the past two years because they're oil thin with just enough gloss slip. More on those two in the lip oil episode linked below. Then the Fit Glow lip serums from my liquid lip balm video have an incredibly cushiony feel so they could certainly count as a comfy gloss too. Just wanted to make sure you're aware of those three before we move on and meet six other chic shiny products. A little thicker, slightly more traditional gloss textures here, just really comfy ones. We're in very safe hands with one of the world's best makeup artists. Lisa Eldridge came up with a genuinely nourishing gloss treatment hybrid with a texture that leaves my lips feeling cushioned long after application. Gloss Embrace is heavier than a really thin oil, but not sticky or gloss gloopy, sort of middle weight with a plush feel and medium to high pigment. Scent, fragrance free, Key ingredients, wild mango kernel butter, acai berry oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E oil. 13 shades, Muse is the one I reach for most, a neutral smoky rosewood that has sister lipstick and liner shades in her range, all are favorites for me as an everyday dusky rose pinky brown. Blush is really underrated, a flushed pinky berry that can be soft and natural with one swipe or built up for a full flush. The angled flat doe foot pad applies the formula well and you can be more precise using the edges. A gloss that does not get enough attention is the Pat McGrath Labs Lust Gloss. So many products in Pat's range, it can be a bit hard to know where to start, but this is an official, extremely underrated product alert. When I first tried these in 2019, they were instantly the creamiest, smoothest glosses I'd ever worn, and they're still one of the highlights of my collection. Luxuriously smooth, balmy, so shiny, super pigmented. The long doe foot has what's called a reservoir tip, so product sort of pulls on it and applies evenly. Scent, strong, heavy vanilla, not light and sweet, almost vanilla bean. Key ingredient, vitamin E. Flesh 4 is called a warm mid-tone brown, but this is a deliciously deep chocolate. It's a classic, solid, high shine color, but she also has shimmers and glitters. Divine Rose is a pretty fresh pink, described as plum rose shimmer. This one has a pearlescent, arguably iridescent finish in the light. Not super glittery or shimmery though, it just creates such luminous shine. One of you recently put the Dior Addict Stella glosses back on my radar. Thank you for reminding me about them, Joanna. You might remember these from my Olivia Rodrigo makeup bag video last year, described as a balmy lip gloss with plumping shine and 24 hour hydration. These feel more plush, balmy and thicker than Dior's famous lip maximizer glosses. I like the voluptuous curved doe foot, almost like a smaller version of the Dior Lip Glow Oil doe foot I love, but I can't say the 24 hour hydration bit is true for me, for any formulas in fact, I never notice effects like that. No plumping tingling at all, just lots of shine. Scent, classic, sweet vanilla, reminds me of the Clarins Instant Lip Perfectors I loved as a teenager. Key ingredients, sunflower seed and cranberry seed oils and rosemary leaf extract. Dior Rise is a bright red, warm and fiery to match the dress Olivia Rodrigo wore at the Brit Awards last year. Magnify is a perfect plum for berry lip lovers. This has a similar mid-tone berry quality to Lisa Eldridge's blush shade. Your lips just look better, slightly bitten. Before we move on to more pigmented and sheer smooth glosses, 
why not fill in the rest of the picture with the previous videos in this lip series of sorts? I've been working with Squarespace for the past couple of years and my blog matildaonvideo.com is a little companion to my channel. So easy to add links to my videos, no coding necessary, you just paste a link and it pops up and can be played right there on the website. With a simple user experience and aesthetically pleasing templates, a website, blog or online store can be up and running in minutes. If you're interested, Squarespace offer a free trial and when you're ready to launch, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Next, the M Cosmetics True Glosses. Regular viewers might remember this formula popping up a few times in the past couple of years. It's one of the most pigmented glosses I've ever seen, almost like the colour payoff and intensity you'd expect from a liquid lipstick with the shine of a lip lacquer. It's a gel-based formula that feels creamy, the colour wears evenly, but every shade is currently on sale on the M Cosmetics site, which is never a good sign, is it? They just released a new Everglass lip Dew serum, so I fear we might be about to lose the true glosses. Scent, sweet, sort of cakey vanilla, key ingredients, vitamin C and E. Blood Moon is a fantastic warm red. Not like the usual sheer red glosses you see that only leave you with a deep pink tint. This one is red hot. Moroccan Sunset is called Dusty Coral, but it's so rich, there's less pink to it and more toasty orange, so it crosses over into terracotta territory. The fate of a formula that's entirely on sale usually isn't great, so don't wait around if you've wanted to try these. My most recent gloss edition was Tower 28's Shine On Milky Lip Jelly. New to me, but well known to many of you as a seriously comfy gloss. Also the lightest texture so far, so if you're really glossy, gloss averse and even a self-confessed comfortable lip gloss connoisseur like me hasn't been able to convince you so far, perhaps this could be the formula for you. Very light, thin, slippy, silky. Scent? I've seen fragrance free reported, but there's a bit of a cosmetic scent that's vaguely coconutty. Let me know what you think if you've tried it. Key ingredients apricot kernel, raspberry seed, and rosehip oils. I picked up cashew in the last Sephora VIB sale called a semi sheer, milky, rosy brown. It sits right in the middle. Not too rosy, not too brown. Finally, Fenty. It wouldn't be a comfortable gloss roundup without Gloss Bomb, would it? Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow launched in 2017 and held Sephora's bestseller spot for years. Interestingly, when I looked last week, it's been knocked to fourth by Dior Lip Glow Oil, big fan, Tower 28's Milky Lip Jelly, hello again, and Addison Rae's Item Beauty Gloss. Products may come and go, but Gloss Bomb is eternal. High shine, wet look shimmer, very light. The texture would have been at home in my lip oil or liquid balm videos, to be honest. Scent, strong, intensely sweet. It's a lot. It's called peach vanilla, but I'd say it's sherbetty too. Key ingredient, shea butter. Fenty Glow was the original and still the best of seven current shades and many limited edition minis. A one gloss fits all, shimmering rose nude, a rosy caramel on me. Let me know if another Fenty colour has overtaken this one for you. I hope you enjoyed meeting some of my favourite super smooth formulas. Now it's your turn. Please share your top juicy glosses in the comments and give them their time to shine. Any matches for you here or products you think I need to know about? Let me know if you want to hear my thoughts on some old school big gloss names in the game in a future episode too. Thanks for watching. See you next time.